All right, you just want to go to covidtest.gov and then click here on the order free at home test. That's gonna bring up you this page right here. You just put in your first name, last name, email if you want, uh, and then shipping address. And then hit the checkout now and it's all free. So, well, free to you. Thanks for watching guys and uh, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Okay guys, got this uh, rapid COVID test, five of them from uh, what, the United States Postal Service. Mm -hmm. So they got five little, um, comes with the antigen self test, five swabs, five little um, tubes with the solution in there and five little caps. And then this box, which has these little cutouts here and the instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bust this out real quick. So wash our hands already. Uh, next step, we're just gonna open this up and pull one of these out. And it says these go right in here. Insert tube here, man. And I'll punch that out there in the box. There we go. Make sure your box is solid. Okay, and it says, so place a tube in the holder, and then we want to take this off of here. Okay. Okay, next step is we open this up and I think it has some instructions. Just peel here. Pull this out. Okay, we're gonna swab our nostril, each nostril uh, five times for 15 seconds. We're rubbing the insides of the nostril takes approximately 50 seconds, so about seven seconds each time. I'm not gonna show you the nostril swab. <laughs> so just hang on. All right, here we go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, and then we'll go to the other nostril. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, and then we put it in there. It says to take this out and mix it vigorously by rolling the swab tip at least six times on the bottom and the sides of the tube. Okay, so that's quite a few times there. Rubbing vigorously. And then we put it back in there. And we're gonna wait for one minute. While we're doing that, we can get our little cap out here. So, uh, it's been about 10 seconds. After one minute, take the tube out of the tube holder and we're gonna squeeze the stuff out of there. So in, no, that second hand's not even working. In the clock there. So it's been about 20 seconds. While we're doing that, we can open up one of these, I think. Maybe we'll wait just a second, have that open, get it ready. It's been about 35 seconds. Does it have a timer on there? That one? Okay, 20. How much time we got? Got about another 20 seconds. Okay, so 20 seconds. It's important to get one minute done. Okay, so after the one minute, we're going to pull it out. Squeeze the swab tip several times from outside the tube. Try to release as much liquid as possible. Dispose the swab in the trash. Slide that trash over here. All right. How much time we got? In a minute. All right, so here we go. We'll pull this out, and then we're gonna pull this up. And then from the outside, we're gonna squeeze our uh, thing to try to get all that fluid out of there we can so just kind of rotating and squeezing it okay that goes in the trash and then this little cap goes on there just like that 
and that's got a set for take the tube pick from the kit and push it into the top of the tube make sure there's a tight fit oh okay it snaps into place there we go <laughs> all right so that's snapped in and then we'll the test if it turns here okay, at four drops okay so we're gonna open this test kit That's in there. Okay. And we're going to add four drops into that S part there. Pull the tube straight up and down above the test and just nice and gently squeeze and add four drops of the solution in the sample well. Adding more or less than four drops might mess it up. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go. One, two, three. Four. Okay, and now we're going to wait 15 minutes, so it's 7.58, so at 8.13, we're going to check and see how that is. So while you're waiting, that stays uh, level, and don't mess with it, and we'll see you guys in 15 minutes. Alright, there you go, 8.13, and we'll go check out our test. So C. Um, it says to look carefully um, for the T if there's a another line there, even a very, very faint one, then you're positive. If it's C, it's a negative, so that's good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave a link uh, actually in the description below how to get this from, um, I think it's United States Postal Service, USPS, just... Uh, I'll put some instructions on there if you want to get your rapid test. So that's how you do it, guys. It's pretty easy. Uh, works pretty good. So uh, nice thing to know if you got it or not. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great day. So one thing I forgot is if it has the T in there, then it's obviously uh, positive. The C, if it's just a line on the C, it's negative. C and T is positive, and just T is a invalid reading so i thought i would clarify that and uh, i think we covered all the bases on this one make sure to follow the instructions and have a good day